I think the real buzz this time around is the India story. We were here a few months back. Yeah. There wasn't quite the India presence. Do you see yeah. a big change this time? It's remarkable. You know, I think, Vishnu, the rep representation of India has been growing every year. Yeah. If you walked on the promenade, it's unbelievable how many Indian companies are here. So the relevance of India and the global stage is dramatically mm -hmm. changing over the last uh, few years and even more so in the last 12 months. And so this is a great time for our country and for the opportunity to capture the global stage in a very profoundly different way than before, I think. You know, we've not quite come out of the pandemic, but you know, when um, many parts of the world were affected much more than they are right now, IT companies tended to benefit. You know, there was so much that happened, favored IT companies. Uh, we went offline, um, uh, we went online when the world couldn't actually operate offline yeah. as it were. But now, the, has that bubble burst a little bit because we're seeing layoffs in so many yeah. places? You know, the tech services industry has a different rhythm than the tech product industry, so that's one fundamental yeah, yeah. observation. The euphoria of the last couple of years, I think, has slowed down, certainly. But I remain more cautiously optimistic, and I'm using the word more purposefully than before, despite the uncertainty. I think it's a good thing for our industry that some level of attrition has slowed down. Uh, I think it's a good thing that there's more stability building. But I'm incredibly excited about the future for our industry, right? The reality is, after customers spend on technology, they have to optimize that technology to make returns on that investment. And so there's a great opportunity for tech services companies like us. And so if you see the conversation across the industry on pipeline, on order booking, that remains positive and buoyant despite Sure. the changes. Certainly the nature of that pipeline has shifted to be more cost transformative mm -hmm. as opposed to focusing more so on the digital mm -hmm. and the revenue side of the business. Uh, but you know we've had record order bookings last quarter, the highest we've we ever had as, an in, as a company. Yeah. And so that creates a huge opportunity which I think I'm very excited about as it unfolds over the next few years. What about the broader IT industry in India now and in retrenchments? We've seen so many across so many companies of late. Again, is this part of a bubble a bursting? Uh, is it perhaps some sort of a winter before a spring once again in yeah. the IT sector in India? No, so I'm not sure what you mean by retrenchment, right? Every year organizations look at talent and look at top talent, look at underperforming the talent and make, and make those calls. Thousands look, I think we're still hiring. We're hiring on scale. You know, freshers to me is an important indicator. If mm -hmm. I look at the first nine months of the number of freshers mm -hmm. we've hired, what we hired all year, last year. I am very optimistic about how the momentum continues over the next across couple the of years. I know across across, across, across tech services, I'm talking right. about tech right. services because as an industry. So, many Correct. Have had so I'm not talking about the, the product sure. companies, I'm talking sure. about the services sure. companies sure. Sure. as well. I think one reason for that may also be that in the euphoria, many of these companies mm -hmm. really hired on, on a disruptive mm -hmm. scale unlike mm -hmm. ever before. And perhaps they're looking to now optimize and find the right balance and equilibrium. Sure. But I think for the tech services companies, that model, I think, continues. And the fact that, you know, you've even got the IMF warning of a recession at a global level, that doesn't affect India or the yeah. IT space? So I find it's very interesting. You know, India is a, is a, is a, is a hot story across the yeah. globe. The one learning for me in the last few days here in Davos has been that the, the sobriety that people felt about the world economy is less somber yes. than it was. You know, people are more optimistic than mm -hmm. I find. Uh, people feel that markets like the US will bounce back faster. Uh, Europe is more colored, but it's showing up differently for different companies. So, for example, for us, we're seeing more positivity in Europe. Our pipeline looks stronger in Europe, just given the nature of the kind of customers and the kind of work we are transacting. So, there's also a context of your own business context outside of the economy. But the general feeling is people are more optimistic. They are less bearish yeah. than perhaps they were, or perhaps I thought they would be uh, over that's the last couple of days. So, that's, that's exciting and positive.